Alright, hello everyone. Uh, this is Champions Cup replay. This is round one of Chalice 42. This is Martin Septums, Wood Elves versus Mega Bonobos, Undeads. Uh, it should be a good one. There's a wizard for the Undeads. Uh, I'll see that in a sec. Just three rerolls a piece. Uh, it's got a Guard, stand firm, grab mummy. He's got a guard block, stand firm mummy. He's got two whites, one shrimp for nothing else. Blodge, stand firm. Uh, I just had a. Uh, they weren't the power cut. It was just the internet stopped working. Uh, he's got a blodge short hands ghoul with tackle, a blodge ghoul, a res wrestle ghoul, a guard zombie, and a kick zombie, and a DP, and a block zombie. So strip ball. On the war dancer strip ball movement side step tackle strip ball on this nearly rookie war dancer. He's got an edgy five blodge side step and he's got a couple of block uh, catches and a, a rog lino, two rog linos. This tree has got movement up, <coughs> which is amazing, means it doesn't uh, have to roll to stand up. And he's got a couple of loners, so it's bear 11 versus 12. Let's get into it. So, yeah, it's the fame is on Mr. Bonobo sides. Um, I find this pretty difficult as undead, to be honest. I find this matchup pretty difficult. I guess looking at the teams, it's it's kind of even. There's not tons of mighty blow. There's, in fact, there's only the mummies that have mighty blow on the undead team. I guess DP can do some work. There's no bribe in play. And uh, interestingly, deciding to ignore the tree, <laughs> uh, which we do get wrapped into. Yeah, I just had to, mate, it counted, it counted as a concede as well. So unfortunately, the team's dead. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll create another team and we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, it wasn't the best start anyway, so maybe maybe it was good in the long run. So it's a high kick. It's a nice spot for the ball. There's no blitz. I mean. This side was pretty open to a blitz, to be fair. Comes the mummy with a blitz. Gets the pow. On the blodger. Gets the KO. That's pretty nice. For a bonobo. So he picks up the ball. Gets the mummies forward. you got to get these mummies forward. Although, he can... He can get his tree like on one of these. I have mobile internet also, so I can switch net off. I I put I I did load it up on my mobile, but it just didn't let me back in the game for some reason. I, I put it on a hotspot, but it wasn't quick enough, or it wasn't fast enough, and then it just disconnected. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll 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 get over it. <coughs> so this is the uh, Venga bus. Which uh, it stops him leaping in and getting a free 1D, uh, 2D, sorry. It'll be red dice because this guy here. The guard here. I mean, t to be fair, the guard probably should be where the ghoul is, but I guess he's protecting the ghoul. And it stops him leaping in the front here as well. Because he could put a guy in here and then just leap in here. So that's not too bad, actually. And there's the 1 in 9. Doesn't use the reroll. So he's got his mummies nice and for forward. The stun there is pretty good for uh, Martin. I guess we're just going to see Blitz and we mighty blow every turn, yeah. Doesn't get him. <coughs> Pushes him back for a follow up. This looks more, yeah, it's guard goes in here. It's quite interesting, he's seen, oh, he's just doing a normal cage here. I wonder if Martin goes in for it this turn. 
I guess he's got guards on the opposite corners, which is nice. Does stick the foul in. Doesn't get the armor break. Nah, he's just pulling back. He's not interested. I mean, he's pretty... He's got sure hands. How far? Where is he putting this? Taking the GFI? Not taking the GFI. <clears throat> Just wants to stop him coming back this way. Movement trees are awesome. They're not bad, are they? They're not bad. It's a chain push. I just changed the Roger out, okay. Saves himself the one in 36. I guess he's gonna come back right here or here. Yeah, just there's fine. They can steal one in six and be zero movement. <laughs> oh, <wow. coughs> You mean the uh, take root? They can. So it doesn't get him. Martin, um, Martin, Mega, Mega Bonobo seems quite happy to take a chance on hitting these blodgers. I guess the blodgers are like the better players, right? So this is uh, somewhat risky. I don't know how he's going to deal with this back corner he can't go yeah he can't go in there and this is guard stand firm oh tree takes root he's taking a blitz I guess he could just chain push the ball straight into the war dancer there if he blitzes from that square he just that that's really sad like because it's literally just bang bang and he's on the dancer I mean it is on guard, but that's tackle, so I guess it's red, but I mean it still shouldn't be an option. Do we know the Twitch name? <coughs> uh, Mega Bonobo has been playing for a few seasons and he's he's qualified undead a couple of times I think. I've seen him, I've, I've seen him in the last two chalices I think. Fails the dodge off. That was like quite a risky turn though. I guess like with, with Undead against Wood Elves there's going to be some dicey turns in there but the tree rooting was like super fortunate. And there's no guard on this Wood Elf team which is really sad. Like for the Wood Elves. I'm not a big fan of Wood Elves so <laughs> I'm not too bothered. It does get the power on the Dancer. It's, it's not the better of the two Dancers. The counter turn was pretty not good either. Taking block, destroy the screen, yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And like it was very weak up here, wasn't it? Hello try. This looks again pretty rowdy. One, <coughs> oh it does make the guard. If he doesn't make that geofire, this is pretty scary. And the tree, the tree taking root there is like really hurt uh, Martin Septum. Yeah, of course he's going to foul the dancer. Guard either side. Let's see if he goes for it or not. It's really nice progress for the undeads. I didn't expect them to be this far down the pitch this quickly. I still got a wizard in hand as well. Not sure why this guy's back here. So he's just going to take a hit on the goal. Gets the pal. I would have thought this guy would be like more back. But I guess... Okay. There's, there is a screen there. I guess he's trying to get him to blitz this guy. So he's just going to put sidestep on the ball. And uh, I guess the loner's coming in as well. Makes the dodge. 
and sites that we trust. I mean, do you blitz this guy and dodge out, or what? I guess you just put a guy in here, and then once you hit him, you push him off easily, yeah. And then probably blitz this dude and come back over here. Gets the pow on the budge. 100% <laughs> of foul, yeah, 100%. So he, he looks quite happy to force this corner. I mean the war dancers are here, right? And where is he putting this ball? I was just going to stay in a cage here. This is a 1 in 9 block. And this is open. I guess the guards are there and there. Gets a pout. Gets a KO as well. Their wood elves are really lacking guard, aren't they? Just making it like super awkward. And a couple of stand firm guys are like really making it awkward as well. Gets him down with a wrestle. Just gonna come and try and screen this off. It's, this feels like a little bit too late, like. Undead have made too much progress at this point. So it's going to be really, really hard to stop any kind of score. He's down two elves. Stun there is pretty big as well. And it's going to be interesting if he blitzes through here. I think, I think I blitz through here. Where's he going to go? Doesn't get the knockdown. And that's sidestep. Doesn't get it again, that sidestep onto the ball. Not onto the ball. I guess he didn't want to sidestep onto tackle. <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't want to sidestep onto tackle. Yeah, blitzing what the stand firm down here seemed odd. Yeah, I mean, you want to take something at the front, I guess. I'm not sure what he was aiming for. I think sidestepping onto the ball probably. I guess, yeah, I mean, there's a snake. <laughs> snake followed by boxcars. And this is this is just easy now, isn't it? It's just easy. He, he doesn't even need to go anywhere. I suppose he didn't sidestep here. I guess it, like, it's weird because he's basing and then he's getting pushed off and then he's sidestepping off. So it's like white base in the first place. So he's going to make a cage here. He can do it quite easily. One, two, three, four. He's got the guard there. Don't think he can get the guard on each corner unless he gets a pow here. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, he can get he can get a 1D through here. I mean it does depend on how he gets the pow. Wow. Does he get the armor break? Gets the armor break as well. And then this is, yeah, this is going to be a scary foul. Get, ah, oh, he gets the guard in, yeah. Nothing. Dinada. So this looks like a clean score. Well, I say clean score. Yeah, he's just run the catcher away. Keep him safe. He's just going to go and red dice a bludger. Gets the pal. Gets the KO. So what's the KO situation? Two lodge catchers and a loner. Looks like he's going to free dice this war dancer. Gets the pal. No armor break. Definitely can't foul that. 
tucks it in. Perfect eight turn drive without using the Wizards against Wood Elves. It's got to feel good. It's got to feel good. I'm surprised he didn't take the GFI with a tree earlier. He could have took the GFI with a tree and then had like three players on it, I think. Or maybe just two, but I don't know. Still got all three of these rerolls. Let's have a quick look at this one turner. So he's back line in. He's got three stand firm, isn't he? Yeah, so it's, it's not happening without Juggernaut. Tag a mummy with a tree. Yeah, the mummies are the ones that like allow them to move forwards, isn't it? I guess he was worried about like the tree getting hit by a mummy. He did have an opportunity to tag both, like. Tackle in BBC was a level choose for this match, I think. Oh, a tackle on the ball carrier. Do you mean the uh, goal? This one. Yeah, I f yeah. I mean, I I quite like it to be fair. Obviously, it would normally be sidestep, but obviously with the uh, <laughs> BBC. <laughs> um, but obviously with the this particular matchup, it's it's pretty pretty good. And then he's also useful on defense as well he didn't he doesn't have tackle anywhere else does he he's got wrestle but he doesn't have tackle anywhere but yeah if you get if you get based with a lodge stepper it must feel sad like <coughs> qualifying wood elves and then the first team you play against is a uh, three stand firm team completely shut down your one turner Is he fouling? He is fouling. Rowdy foul. Double key. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't even break the armor. Wow. So what's this KO rolls looking like? He did get a loner back and he got a Yeah, he fails fails the KO roll. I normally find this pretty hard as undead, to be honest. I normally find this matchup like super hard. Loner for a mummy is good trades, yeah. I know it's not crazy. I know it's not crazy. I just, I don't know, like... <coughs> it's, uh... It's probably, yeah, it's probably fine, to be fair. If you get a Kaz there... It's pretty awesome. I don't think... He's on 10, right? He's on 10. So he'd be down to 9. High kick. Daka land forever. Are we going to see a Daka? I'd be very disappointed if he's called Daka land forever. Oh, he <laughs> snakes the cat. I guess that's the best time to snake in a wood elf turn, right? It's a pow. On the tree. Which means this war dance is staying here, which means we're probably not seeing a Daka. Yeah, we're we're definitely not. Where is he off to? Oh no. Nightmare. Takes root. First turn of the drive. Absolute nightmare. Gets rid of the dirty player though. But yeah, the tree is not performed. Unfortunately for uh, Martin so far. He fails to pick up. No need to reroll it. <coughs> He's got to feel sad about the tree. It's the only, it's like, it is a big concern for Undead, the old tree. 
The amount of stand firm is actually really, really good, I think, against the elves. It's just basing up. Here comes the mummy. Hits the loner. Only a push. Nice solid line. <laughs> this zombie makes the dodge, what a hero. Hitting this guy. Hello creepy. You missed this game was scheduled. Yeah, this I think this was played yesterday. Uh, hello Lady Link. This was played I believe it was played yesterday. Right, okay. So it's definitely not a Dakar. And does he, he picks it up this time? You're not going to give it to him, It's he's got a lightning bolt, yeah. So he's carrying on the uh, the, the worst catcher, or the lesser catcher. I saw your game the other day, Creepy, was it um, versus Tempest Soul? That sucks about the uh, Tackle Pommer. Well, I did see that, that was quite an entertaining game to be fair. So he's playing pretty conservative. There's no reason to rush, is there? I think like <clears throat> he's in a pretty solid position. With the tree rooting and the stand firm locking down that side of the pitch. These this is the only concern like here now. Which will, I reckon Martin's gonna go for this, yeah. Yeah. I watched it yesterday, I think. I watched it yesterday. Oh, one in nine. Right back in the end zone. What's going on here then? I know it's not going to happen, but he could lightning bolt him and that could scatter out. <laughs> like, I don't know why he's in the end zone. Is it because he doesn't want to get tagged by this goal? I mean, I know it's not going to happen. Yeah, rough match. Yeah, the first half is... That's the wrong end zone, yeah. <laughs> Why isn't it coming up that I've scored? <laughs> yeah, it's true, yeah. He, he, did, he did some weird things in the at the end of the second half, and he did some weird things in overtime. And I, I seem to remember him removing more of his team than you were. <laughs> it was quite funny. Yeah. So, I'm really not sure why this is in the end zone. Right, and that's solid. Puts tackle on them all. Runs the wrestle down. I'm surprised he didn't push further. To, oh, I guess he got the one in nine here, didn't he? He got the one in nine. Didn't re roll it. Didn't dodge out. Yeah, he can screen this pretty well, but it's only going to be like a single screen. He can't. Alright, okay. There. No, that needs to be a... S well, I don't know. The fireball. I don't know. I don't think we'll see it, to be fair. But that's still a bit risky. Yeah, run him down. Catcher in range as well. Are we just going to see a mad fireball? Is that what we can see? It's not in range. Why is he here? 
Why is he not in range? I expected him to be like over here somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, he's got like the two stand firmers. Shut this side down. Not making the GFI. No wizard though, which is fair. Is it because he wants the hand off to this? Is is that is that what he's thinking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, he's he's perfectly in hand off range, but I, I still don't get it. There goes the stand firm. Blitz the dancer. Now there's no scoring threat. Oh, what? Oh, that hurts. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. MNG. <laughs> yeah. You love to see it. Yeah, dead dancer. That does hurt a lot. She kind of begs the question, why is this catcher here? I, I can't figure it out for the life of me. I, I mean, he's tying up <laughs> three players, I guess. Blitz and stand firm, never... Never goes wrong. Uh, blodge stand firm, in fact. Uh, he's okay. Is he okay? I don't know if he is okay. I guess you want to be out of range of this guy. It's going to hand off. Or is he just tempting the bolt into catch? Do we see it? I, I, there's, we, we don't need to wizard, do we? Because there's no scoring threats. I mean, that's the weakest scoring threat I've seen in a long time. <clears throat> Although, I'd probably deal with this before I do anything else. I would probably deal with the scoring threat first, just to make sure he's he's not there anymore. If we're not wizarding. He's okay this turn, yeah. That's what I mean, like, if he had the if he had the catcher back here, it would have been interesting to see. He just one deed it. <laughs> he just one deed it. I mean, it's a 2+, plus, I guess. It's a 2+. Plus. And now he's... Yeah, this stand firm is doing absolute work. Absolute work. So frustrating for Septum. Yeah. I mean, he could just dodge through and ignore it entirely, right? Yeah, mega positioning is decent, yeah. I, I'm not sure about that 1D. If he skulls on that 1D though, that is <laughs> horrific. I guess he doesn't want to move the tackle over because then it's... And he's got the re-roll for it as well. Right, what are we... Are we going in range this time? We are going in range. And now we've got two scoring threats. So now, this is much better. Much, much better. Although, this is somewhat risky. Yeah, stand firms all across. Guess he's blitzing this one with tackle? Or maybe he's blitzing this one with tackle, yeah. Just I understand it because, like, I, I want to blitz this one because I've got it's got catch, but then I also don't want to blitz this one because then my tackle probably isn't going to be back in range for this one, so it's it's a tough one. Yeah, and he can just hit him back here. Yeah. And he gets the stun there, which is amazing. 
There's a KO. So it's just the two KOs and the Kaz Dancer. Where's he going? Guess you just run this guy out, but he's just gonna get hit with tackle again. He's like running out of scoring threats. Every time he puts a scoring threat up, it gets removed. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. It's got to be frustrating. Fails the leap. That is the reroll. 100%. Gets the leap. Makes the dodge. Makes the dodge. Right, there's one scoring threat now. It's a three up, two up. Ooh. Okay, gets it. Yeah, trying to screen from this tackle. There goes the fireball, wow, okay. Gets the front two down. In goes the guards. Just trip. Where's the tackle? Oh, it's here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, he's got a tackle hit on the catcher there. I doubt he goes with the, uh, the mummy. It's just, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's a little bit awkward. He needs the armor break on this catcher. Like this AG5 can still still get things done. Could be a removal, wouldn't it? Hello, Hedemies. Gets the pal. Oh, mummy ball. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's absolutely fine. I don't know if he had any extra movement. If that scatters, like, here. I mean, it could even, like, scattered, like, here, anywhere. That was it's kind of risky. The fireball was kind of risky, I think. It's it worked. GG. Uh, looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. It's GG now. Yeah. It's GG. Yeah. I don't. So that's another. What's that? Another. I think this is the first undead team that's actually made it out of the three. So there was one that got smashed by Chorfs, and the other one got smashed by Nurgle. Um, this is probably like quite a rough matchup for Undeads. Just gonna try and get the uh, SPP. Not throwing the pass. Makes it free dice. Oh, he's miles away from a level. Absolutely miles away. And that is GG. So, congratulations to Mega Bonobo. Uh, commiserations to Martin Septum. Uh, it's a pretty tight one, wasn't it? I think, I don't know, I think there was a few uh, few little improvements there. That there was there was a chance when the tree rooted, there was a chance for Martin, but there was a few. I'm not sure, I'm, I still can't understand why he didn't move the catcher into a scoring threat, but GG.